Before we begin, I would like to thank Bird Polly, who is a VIP patron of the channel. All right, for the last topic in this styled components mini series, let's learn how to work with global styles in our application. Normally, styled components are automatically scoped to a local CSS class and therefore isolated from other components. Things like CSS resets or base style sheets, however, need to be applied globally. To help with this, the library provides a helper function called create global style. Let's look at an example. Begin by importing create global style from style components. Next, we invoke this function by specifying styles within template literals and assigning to a constant. So const global style is equal to create global style back ticks and on the button element I'm going to add font family roboto. Here global style is in fact a styled component. We can now invoke it within the components JSX. So within the theme provider global style. If you now head to the browser, inspect element and take a look at the computed styles, you can see that font family is Roboto. And since global style is a styled component, it even gets access to props. So you could potentially add styles in the theme, for example, font family as Sego UI and in the global style CSS font family is going to be an arrow function where we get hold of props and access theme.fontfamily. Head back to the browser and you can see the button font family is now Sego UI. A common use case for global styles is to add CSS resets or base style sheets. But hopefully this example has given you an idea of how to do that with styled components. With that, we come to the end of this short series on styled components. It is a package that a lot of companies use and I wanted to make sure this channel being a one-stop shop for React, styled components is also covered. Thank you all for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and until next time, take care.